Today we are in Lafayette, Indiana, and I'm going to bring you a little different tour today. Today we're going to be visiting famed clown and circus performer Emmett Kelly. Emmett Kelly began his work in entertainment at a young age. He first began entertaining at schools. After he moved to Kansas City to pursue a career as a cartoon illustrator, he found himself working a series of jobs that were not related to entertainment. He was asked to become a painter for a carnival, exposing him to early circus life. During the 1920s, Kelly began working for a circus on a full-time basis. In addition to performing as a clown, Kelly worked as a trapeze artist. He invented a clown character by the name of Weary Willie. His character would forego traditional clown attire and focus more on being a Depression-era style hobo. Kelly would normally paint his face in a sad style and help the genre of sad-faced clowns become popular. Kelly's character, Weary Willie, would often play a comedic foil aimlessly wandering into the acts of other performers and even hanging his laundry on low-hanging wires. Emmett Kelly signed with Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus in 1942. It was during this time that Emmett Kelly faced the most heartbreaking event of his career. And you know, I don't really think that we give enough credit to performers like this. I mean, these are people who give up large portions of their life to dedicate to traveling and stuff, you know, just to make a living for their family and bring a little joy to others. So today I want to honor the life of Emmett Kelly. On July 6, 1944, Ringling Brothers held a performance in Hartford, Connecticut. Shortly after the show began, the circus tent caught fire. Kelly sprang into action quickly, being one of the first on the scene to try to help extinguish the fire. Audience members, naturally in an extreme panic, were led to safety by Kelly. Unfortunately, 168 people perished in the fire. It is said that Kelly was affected deeply by this event for the remainder of his life. Kelly was immortalized that day by audience member Ralph Emerson, who snapped a photo of Kelly, still wearing his clown makeup and costume, carrying a single bucket of water. Kelly, who played a simple and unassuming clown named Weary Willie, became a hero. Emmett Kelly died of a heart attack in 1979 in Sarasota, Florida. He now rests here in Lafayette, Indiana at Rest Haven Memorial Park. Emmett Kelly was an inductee to the inaugural class of the International Clown Hall of Fame in 1989. In 1994, he was also inducted into the International Circus Hall of Fame. Here he is at Emmett Kelly Park in Houston, Missouri, his boyhood hometown. Thank you so much for watching and honoring the life of Emmett Kelly with me today. I certainly do appreciate you. I appreciate my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please click subscribe for me. Also, I love interacting with you all on social media. Find me on Facebook and Instagram by searching for Whit Docs, and I will see you all again soon.